Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on API versus SDK. An application programming interface is a set of protocols and tools for building application software. A software development kit is a set of software development tools that allows the creation of applications for a certain software package, software framework, hardware platform, computer system, etc. In this session, you will get to know all the differences between API and SDK. So without further wait, let's start the session. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Hello everyone and welcome to IntelliPad. In this session, we will be discussing about API versus SDK. Applications have transitioned from being a fun leisure to becoming a necessity that we rely on for our day-to-day -day tasks. Be it mobile or web-based applications, we use them for the most part of our day. All these applications are developed by a team of software engineering professionals. These applications go over a regular feature update procedure to add on new functionalities. The two main terms that come into play for serving this purpose are SDK and API. They are the operations that help to initiate this process happening in the backend. So let's take a look for our agenda for today. At first, we will be discussing about what is SDK. Moving further, we will discuss or take a look at all the types of available SDKs. After that, we will get to know what is an API. Then, we will take a look at the API's usage terminologies. And at last, we will learn about the difference between API and SDK. So let's get started with our first topic for today. What is SDK? SDK stands for Software Development Kit and consists of all the libraries, tools, documentation along with the, all the samples thus providing the structure for instant application development and all of these in a collection or combined together providing a package for the applications to be developed. SDKs vary from platform to platform and comprises of a compiler, debugger and a software framework. They are typically well defined for different operating systems and platforms. SDK can appear as application programming connection points as device libraries to interact with a specific specific programming language or its specific tools that can communicate with a specific installed framework or software. Organizations make their SDKs accessible to designers to assist them with effectively coordinating with their services. Now let's discuss about the different types of available SDKs. There are various types of SDK available based on the different types of platforms, among which the most preferably used are the first one comes Android NDK and SDK. Android NDK is the Android platform which consists of a set of tools that allows the users to implement codes of other programming languages such as C, C++, C Sharp with Android. The Android SDK supports only the Java programming language to interact with Android. The most used SDK in Android platform is Android Studio, which allows the users to code in Java programming language and thus provides with the set of tools required to implement those codes for Android app development. Then comes the iOS SDK. It is developed by Apple and is used to develop apps for the Apple's operating system or Apple's iOS. It officially supports Java, .NET, Flash, Mac Catalyst programming languages and is combined with Xcode. It also contains an iPhone simulator thus providing an ease for the developers to see how their app will look and function on the real phones after its development. Then comes the Microsoft Windows SDK. It is a software development kit that is provided by the Microsoft to develop apps for Microsoft Windows and .NET framework. Then comes the Xbox development kit. It includes of a compiler and various libraries and tools that is used to write or build software for the Xbox gaming system and is originally developed by Microsoft. And at last comes the Java development kit or JDK. The JDK provides the platform for development of software and applications working with Java programming language by providing a Java virtual machine. It is provided by the Oracle Corporation. Now let's discuss about APIs. What is an API? An application programming interface or API is a connection happening between computers or different computer programs. It is made up of several tools or services that have been made available to the programmers. Most organizations, particularly tech organizations, have fabricated APIs for their clients for inner use. It is responsible for connecting the parts of software with one another. It serves the purpose of hiding all the unnecessary details of how a framework functions, uncovering just those parts a developer will see as valuable, thus keeping them reliable, in case the internal details later change. Now let's take a look at all the 
API usage terminologies. The usage of APIs varies on certain terminologies. Some of them are the first one being libraries or framework. The API depicts and endorses the normal way of behaving, which is a detail while the library is a real execution of this arrangement of rules. An API can likewise be connected with a software framework, whereas a system can be based on several different libraries carrying out a few APIs. Then comes the operating system. An API can indicate the point of interaction between an application and the operating system. For example, PO6 determines a bunch of normal APIs that mean to empower an application composed for a PO6 confirmant working framework to be arranged for another PO6 confirmant operating system. Then comes the remote APIs. Remote APIs permit the developers to control remote assets through conventions, explicit guidelines for communication that permits different systems to cooperate regardless of the language that they are using or the platform on which they are being operated on. And at last comes the web APIs. Web APIs are the services that are accessed from user devices such as mobile phones, laptops and so on to a web server utilizing the hypertext transfer protocol or HTTP. Now so far we have understood about SDK and API but still there remains a confusion as both of them are far apart but yet seems a bit similar in accordance of their functions. Now let's take a look at all the properties that differentiate them. The main difference between them is that API is just an interface whereas the SDK is the set or collection of all the tools created for the sole purpose of developing applications. There are various examples in which you might choose to build an API or even utilize a given API and even there are times when you might need to utilize a given SDK that incorporates one or different APIs. SDKs mostly contain APIs but on the the other hand, APIs do not contain SDK. SDKs act as a building block for the development of software or applications. Whereas the APIs empower the capacity of applications inside the boundaries of the SDK with which they are packaged. Now in case if you are having the confusion of which one to choose or which one to opt for, the main thing to do is to conclude where you need to begin, figure out the best methodology and recognize what your ultimate objective is. Based upon that, your choice can influence your experience, the client experience, unwavering quality and the timeline. Every program is unique so you want to gauge the advantage and disadvantages of various regions like ability expected to incorporate it, time showcase, security, cost and various other qualities. So remember, always decide based upon these fundamentals. So that was all for today guys. Thank you and have a nice day. Just a quick info guys. IntelliPad provides full stack web development course in collaboration with ENICT IIT Guwahati. The course link of which is given in the description below.